This is the first time ever I invalidate a warranty. The problem here, you can see, it looks like a nice house, right? So they put all the money and all the effort, all the time into making a nice house, a nice looking house. Now, all the money they put into the house is at risk. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tales of Foundation Repair. So this house is a house that we fixed uh, a few years ago, I believe like in 2022, if I'm not wrong. Fortunately, this house is on a very steep hill, so the slope is crazy bad. Uh, we recommended the homeowner to do a lot of work. Uh, we recommended them to do a few drains. We installed some drains, but unfortunately they were all damaged. Also, the grading of, of the lot was never performed as it was recommended. So um, about a, a week ago, they provide us with an engineer report because they're trying to sell the house. So that engineer report is asking us to adjust just about six piers on a corner and reshame the interior of the house. This is a pyramid foundation. So we are here, we're willing to do so. But our warranty covers that any defect on our labor or workmanship or materials is covered by the warranty and we will adjust the work for free to bring it back to the position that we left it when we finished the work. The situation in here is that all the movement the house is having is not because we did it incorrectly or because our workmanship is defective or because the materials are defective. The problem on this property is that none of our recommendations were followed. While they continue to renovate the house, a lot of the drains that we install were damaged. They never put it back properly. They told us a few weeks that they fixed that. So that's fine, we took their word for that. But now that I'm in the job site and I'm taking a look at everything before we adjust the piers, I'm noticing that everything is really bad. So this is not considered a defect on our workmanship, that this is not our responsibility. Um, that's why it's very important. We try to advise you guys what to do in order to maintain the foundation stable. So this is teamwork. If we don't work together, the stability of the home is never gonna be achieved. Why? Because our work may fail just as specified in the contract because the water is still running beneath the house because, I mean, come on here, I'm gonna show you all the issues. Okay, guys, so the first thing we're gonna check in the front of the house is that we install a drain and that retaining wall over there, right? So in here, uh, I suppose that they got a new electrical installation for the house. So here, we can have evidence, we see the evidence that they dug a trench all the way coming here. We can see that they excavated in this area right there. We have a sinkhole because they dug in here, from here. So they dug this in here to run the wires under, right beneath the retaining wall. So what happening here is in order for them to do this, they have, there's no other way to do this, but removing the drains that we installed. So I'm pretty positive that the drain was not corrected properly. They didn't told us they were doing this until the beginning of this year, they request an inspection and we found out a lot of issues. So what happened in here, as I was explaining, the water is being retaining here, it's building up. That is building up pressure because it cannot run towards there because the drain was damaged. And in here, come here guys. So all this happened because that point, all the pressure that is building up in there created this damage. And again, this is not a defective labor, workmanship or material. Look at the hill. So that's where the damage is coming from because the drain was definitely not corrected as intended, as it's, it's, it's supposed to be. Now we had drains that came across here and we extended all the way somewhere here. Our exits were here. And of course, we were not responsible to do it further because the homeowner was supposed to address that. On this area of the house, we recommended that all of this should have been regraded and the drain should have been corrected. But the problem is you can see that no grading was done. Here, you can see that this definitely is not working. So the drain that was recommended to have corrected wasn't done. And also the slope, the grading on the house was not corrected either. We can see all the erosion here. Pretty much the foundation is just being supported by the piers that we install in there. But the soil is just being washed away. Now, if you follow me here again, so I don't know if that drain was already there or if they put it there, but of course this drain is just causing harm. The reason of why is all the water from here is just draining in here. And you can clearly see all the erosion as well. 
So this corner is the one that we need to adjust. We need to lift like three quarters of inch, but you can see all the erosion that happened right in here. The foundation is pretty much now like floating, right? So this was supposed to be addressed by the homeowner. The homeowner is an investor. He said he had a tractor, a bobcat, and he was gonna take care of the grading, which was never done. Take a look at the entire yard. All around this yard, you can see how the improper grading, we recommended them that it was better to install a retaining wall coming this way, like from there, coming in here, so they could maintain the grading in here, but it wasn't done either. So you can see how the soil is just being washed away. And that's again, not a result of uh, improper workmanship or defective labor or defective material. This is uh, neglect. They built this retaining wall and they built this new driveway. The problem is if you look at the retaining wall that was installed, there is no drainage around here. All the retaining walls they always have to have drains. If they don't have sweep holes or drains, what is gonna happen is that the pressure is gonna build up, the water is gonna accumulate, and then the retaining wall is gonna start collapsing. You can see all these cracks. These cracks are happening because the water is building up. So the pressure of, from the water is pushing all this way, right? So if we continue to walk around here, we still have no, not a single drain in here, not a single sweep, sweep hole. Here, is where I found the biggest damage to the retaining wall. You see all this? And we cannot bl be blamed for any of this. As you can see, our, the problem here are the environmental conditions. And the structural engineer that came a few weeks ago, he is recommending exactly the same things that I recommended a few years ago when we did the work. So all this is gonna collapse at some time. This is gonna just fall down because they need to drill uh, sweep holes or drains in here. Now, if we come over here again, we can see in here that the water is just sweeping or is draining right below, like in between the driveway and the retaining wall. That's because there's a lot of water right below, right beneath the driveway. You can watch how the water is just draining that way. And of course, more erosion happening on the lot. Now guys, at the beginning of the year, when our inspectors came here, they noticed that the drain was really damaged. Like it wasn't the way we installed. They say that they didn't modify it, but we're not willing to take the responsibility. They allegedly say that we leave it like that. It's not true. So you can see in here, that pipe is turning, I don't know where. Then this one is just draining the water here. They were supposed, before installing the concrete, before doing the new driveway, they were supposed to run an extension to this pipe and go under the driveway, across the driveway. So. That way, all the water from here will drain passing the driveway and the retaining wall, not in here. So all the water from here is just being puddled in there by the driveway in the corner where the post is. So all that water is going beneath the driveway. And of course, that's what causing all the pressure buildup and affecting the retaining wall. Now in here, we told them that this had to be graded, but unfortunately as well, you can tell that they were driving the tractor over the pipes and everything. So that's what causes the damage and everything. Now they're supposedly corrected all of these drainages, but in my, my opinion, I don't think it's working as it should be. Okay guys, so here, this is a pyramid foundation. The crawl space, what we did is we installed some sonotubes with a, with a spread footings so we could stabilize the foundation. So you can see that the materials we installed, like all these sonotubes, this is what we installed. We installed these new beams right here. So you can see the wood is in good condition, it's not rotten or anything like that. The piers, they're perfectly fine. They're just the way they're supposed to be. They go like six feet deep. The soil in here is rocky, so we, we don't need to go really uh, further down than that because it's just the bedrock. And we have the, the bell bottom on the piers. But like I said, the materials and the labor we did is showing that has remained adequate. Like the quality of the workmanship is not the problem here. On the pressure point, we did about 12 inches and some of the others are just six inches. But you can see that the length of the piers, they go all the way deep into the soil. You can see all the wood is new wood. The wood is in good condition. It's not cracking, it's not deteriorated. Um, the, even the shims are fine. 
So like I said, this is really not a defect on the work or the materials that we install. This is coming from the lack of maintenance. We were ignored. We performed, we provided a lot of recommendations to avoid these problems from happening again, and we were not listened. So the problem in there is this is not part of a warranty. We always honor our warranty, but like I said, this is teamwork. The homeowner is supposed to work along us because when you are noticing all this erosion, all this water puddling under the house, whatever is happening, uh, we cannot be at the house at all times. So you need to help us, you need to work with us to make sure that you correct those issues so the work we perform remains in good condition. This is where I show you the first uh, at the beginning of the video. This is the first uh, retaining wall, the small retaining wall where the electrical installation is. So you can see the water is sweeping here, coming under the crawl space. It's not too bad, but also another recommendation we gave to the owner is that it was best that right in between of the house and the retaining wall, which is just like six feet wide, uh, it was adequate to install a sidewalk like add some sand, pack it down, and then install a sidewalk with a slope helping the water run towards that side. Of course, it wasn't done. So you can see the water sweeping here. This area still shim. There are some areas that need reshiming. So we're gonna do that today. We're gonna take care of the reshiming. In the crawl space, I don't see many issues, but around the house, you can see all the erosion and deterioration of the lot. And I know I'm repeating over and over, but of course I wanted to make it clear so you can see what happens when all of these items are not corrected the way we recommend it. You can see the water right there, the soil is wet. So that water is coming from the outside of the house. It's filtrating in here because apparently the drainage, it needs improvement. So right now the next step is we're just gonna start uh, adjusting the piers here in the crawl space. Um, but unfortunately on this case, on this specific scenario, we will have to do something that we have never done before. And we're gonna declare the warranty as null because yeah, you can see it's in really bad condition. There's a lot of problems on the house that they need to be corrected before we can even call the house stable. And it's not because of our work, it's because all the environmental conditions surrounding the lot. I was almost forgetting, and this is very, very, very important. So something we explain is that the actual framing, the original framing of the house is in very bad shape. Uh, we told the homeowner that the house needed to be framed, like they, they had to use a professional framer to come here and inspect the wood and replace it as needed. Because of course, there was no way for us to perfectly level the foundation with all the wood as bad as it is. We replaced some of it. You can see some joists. You can see the beams that we install, but the problem is not in here in the foundation, it's actually the framing. So the wood, as it ages, it warps, it shifts, and of course, you cannot level it properly. Like, you can level it properly, but not to make it zero. Why? Because you can see from there to here, within this span, the wood, as it ages, is gonna start having like a belly in here. So if you want the house to be perfectly level, all of this needs to be replaced. It's not necessary as long as the wood is in good shape. Like the wood, I don't think it's gonna collapse or anything like that, but of course a perfect level cannot be achieved. And that's not because of us. That's the way it comes from the factory, from the, from the lumber mill, right? Some things were done. The staircase here, I believe they redid it. It looks like they didn't use green wood. When you work on the crawl space, you always have to install green wood or treated wood because the, the pressure treated wood is gonna withstand um, the moisture and the termites. You can see the difference on the color. That's the wood we install. We use green wood, treated wood. I don't think they ever replace any of the framing. Really at this point, I don't think they did any of that. This is where the homeowner was supposed to extend the, the drain system from there coming all 
that in there, it wasn't installed. Like there was no driveway. They, they told us they were gonna do the driveway. So we told them we're doing the retaining wall there. We're gonna install the drain behind the new retaining wall. And then from there, you can just plug and extend it coming all the way and run it beneath the new driveway. So none of that was done. And you already are able to see how the retaining wall is really starting to collapse because of the, the pressure of the water just building up. So now guys, we're here, as I mentioned, adjusting the piers. We're gonna make the house level just the exact same way that it was when we finished the work. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't believe that this is our problem. I don't think we should be responsible for these issues. We're definitely adjusting the peers to show our willingness to cooperate with homeowners. Of course, to maintain a good reputation. We know how hard it is to make money. You have watched all of our videos and you know it's really, we work really hard for the money we earn. We have a service agreement and our service agreement clearly specifies the terms and limitations. And of course, we went above and beyond explaining the homeowner every item that had to be corrected and we were just ignored. Now we're talking that we did this repair about two years ago at least. And in two years, they never tried to fix anything. So the problem here, you can see, it looks like a nice house, right? So they put all the money and all the effort all the time into making a nice house, a nice looking house. But what about the integrity of the structure? This should have been done first. Rather than spending all the money on the repair of the house, they should have corrected all of this. Because now, all the money they put into the house is at risk. They will try probably to blame it on us, but one, lucky for us, we have a service agreement. Second, the engineer is clearly showing that all our recommendations, he is recommending the same. And the engineer just came here a few weeks ago. So in the two years, we have proof that none of the recommendations were followed. And third, we are always willing to go and do whatever it takes to prove that our work is not defective. You can see the quality of our work under the crawl space. We did really good work. Our peers are not leaning or anything like that. So unfortunately, this is going to continue to happen. All the money they put into the house is just going to be wasted. And all of that is just because maybe they thought it was too expensive to fix the, the grading around the property. Or maybe they just wanted to fix the house to sell it as is. But I mean, be wary, guys. If they don't fix all of these problems, I wouldn't buy the house. And I understand the homeowner is trying to make money out of the sale of the house. I understand that when you are an investor, I mean, you don't want to lose money, but of course I don't want to lose money either. And I'm willing to cooperate, but the homeowner wants me to do everything for free. So I'm so sorry. I really, I hate these kind of problems because they have the potential to harm our reputation, but I'm sure that all of you guys that know us, that if you watch all of our videos, if you follow our social media, if you watch our live streams, you can see how good of a work we do, how we go far beyond and above our obligations to satisfy the customers. So I hate when something like this happens, but this is not an easy fix. This, for me, if they want to make me liable of all this, it will cost me a lot of money to fix and I'm not willing to do that. So we're done with the work that we could do. This is the best we can do for this house. We're leaving now and we'll see what happened next. I already spoke with the agent of the seller. And uh, yeah, so I told her that we did everything as we could. We did the best as we can based on the environmental conditions of the house right now. And unfortunately we cannot transfer the warranty. This is the first time ever I invalidate a warranty, but unfortunately I cannot afford to continue to spend money while they don't listen to us.